While much of the world is still struggling with the limits of current batteries, Tesla is already taking things to a whole new level. What if, by 2026, the most anticipated electric car of the decade wasn't just affordable, but also weather-resistant? The promise of the new aluminum-ion battery doesn't seem exaggerated. It's designed precisely to end EV owners' biggest nightmare. Loss of range when the weather takes a turn for the worse. Leaving your car in the sun, encountering a surprise frostbite, or driving through flooded streets has always been an invitation to chaos. But now, it seems the tables have turned. For those who still rely on lithium-ion batteries, the reality remains the same. Temperatures below 20 degrees or above 60 degrees house become silent traps. The car may look beautiful in the garage, but its battery? Sleeping? Even worse, when the weather forecast decides to ignore your routine. At these times, the vehicle becomes an elderly relative, requiring attention, extra care, and patience. But this new Tesla technology promises to change this scenario with an almost mocking calm. Heat, cold, or a flood. None of these will keep the new system awake. The secret lies in the chemistry. Unlike lithium, which suffers in the cold and freaks out in the heat, aluminum remains stable even when the outside world goes crazy. The battery's core is composed of an ionic, gel-like electrolyte that simply ignores temperature changes. And if the sky falls, you're good to go. The external structure is designed to withstand high levels of humidity without swelling, leaking, or collapsing. A peace of mind that those living in tropical or mountainous regions will deeply appreciate. Imagine no longer having to rush to the garage every time a heavy rain falls. Or not despairing when you see your car in the midday sun after hours of parking. By 2026, this freedom should finally cease to be a luxury and become standard. And this isn't just marketing talk. Tesla's internal tests show solid performance, even in simulated extreme conditions. Situations that would make a Model 3 or Bolt cry foul today, the new model handles as an ordinary day of service. Interestingly, this battery design wasn't just about improving performance. It arose out of pure necessity. With the growth of electric vehicles in various regions of the planet, it became clear that lithium wouldn't be enough. Wet, dry, hot, and freezing climates. No terrain can be ignored if the mission is to democratize electric vehicles. And that's when Tesla's engineers doubled down, creating a battery that would be durable, fast, and, most importantly, stable anywhere in the world. In places where winter doesn't play around, electric car owners know the drama all too well. Plummeting range, slow charging, and that feeling of driving a smart car. By 2026, Tesla promises to put an end to this drama. With the aluminum ion battery, the cold is no longer the enemy. Imagine leaving home in 20 degrees temperatures in Alaska or northern Minnesota and seeing your car respond as if it were a summer day in California. This isn't just a technical detail. It's the kind of change that redefines what it means to trust your vehicle. The secret to this feat lies in the gelatinous electrolyte Tesla developed. Unlike traditional liquids that thicken or even freeze in sub-zero temperatures, this gel remains stable, keeping the aluminum ions moving almost as fast as on a hot day. This means the car continues to deliver power without stuttering, sluggishness, or losing half its range. For anyone who's ever seen an EV hibernate on a freezing morning, this promise seems like science fiction. More than just numbers on a graph, this performance transforms the driver experience. With older batteries, it was common to lose 30%, 40%, or even 50% of range on extremely cold days. With Tesla's new battery, the loss is no more than 5%. It's as if the car is shielded from the weather. You leave the house, start the engine, and it responds exactly the same, whether in knee-deep snow or freezing temperatures. This brings a peace of mind that the electric vehicle market has always wanted but never managed to deliver. And it's not just autonomy that improves. 
The electrical system's response time also remains fast. Interior heaters, navigation systems, and automatic assistants continue to operate without overtaxing the battery. Instead of using extra energy to wake up the car, the driver simply gets in, drives, and gets on with their life. It's a detail that, in practice, makes a huge difference, especially for those who rely on their car for work or long daily commutes. Some Tesla engineers even commented that, in tests, vehicles equipped with the aluminum battery endured consecutive days of 30-degree temperatures in climate chambers without experiencing significant performance declines. This not only increases range, but also reduces wear and tear on the battery itself. Less stress means less chemical stress, and less chemical stress means a longer lifespan. It's a double benefit for the user and the environment. If cold weather performance is already impressive, what can we say about daily range? Anyone who drives an electric car knows that planning each route is almost a ritual. Can I go there and back without recharging? Is there a power outlet nearby? What if I hit traffic? These questions become mantras. But with Tesla's new aluminum ion battery, these concerns are beginning to disappear. The car finally serves the driver, not the other way around. And this completely changes the relationship between owner and vehicle, especially for those who live in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. The difference lies in consistency. While lithium batteries fluctuate depending on the weather or driving style, aluminum batteries deliver nearly unchanged range. Imagine driving for a whole week on a single charge, even in winter. We're talking about 300 useful miles, not on paper, but in practice. It's the kind of range that allows you to go shopping, take the kids to school, stop by work, visit the grandparents, and still have enough juice left over for the weekend. No need to stop to charge. No need to juggle planning. This isn't just convenience, it's freedom. Drivers no longer need to wake up 30 minutes early to charge their car before heading out. They also don't need to rush home because the battery is already screaming for help on the dashboard. With Tesla's new technology, the vehicle behaves like a combustion-powered car when it comes to range, only with less pollution, less noise, and much more efficiency. And honestly, it's this kind of advancement that makes electric cars stop being futuristic and start to seem simply logical. Lithium batteries, when exposed to very cold days, not only lose autonomy, but also struggle to keep the vehicle's operating system running smoothly. The result? You start the car, and it feels like it's woken from a coma, a frozen screen, slow warm-up, and a sluggish response. The aluminum battery ignores all of this. Internal systems remain active, energy consumption is optimized, and the car remains as agile as it should be. All this with a loss of less than 5% in range, which in practice is almost imperceptible. This efficiency also generates real savings. Fewer recharges throughout the week means fewer wear cycles on the battery, and fewer wear cycles means more years of useful life. Car owners feel this in their pockets and in the time they save. They no longer need to be glued to a charging station or install a super powerful station at home. The range is there, ready, waiting to be used without any hassle. And when the driver realizes they haven't even thought about the battery for an entire week, that's when the magic happens. One of Tesla's boldest promises for 2026 is perhaps precisely this, to charge the car in less time than it takes to wait for a snack to be ready. With the new aluminum ion battery, the concept of fast charging finally lives up to its name. While lithium batteries still struggle in cold temperatures, taking forever to recharge from 0%, even at the most powerful charging stations, aluminum batteries handle winter with the same agility as a summer day. 10 minutes. That's the average time for a full charge. And most surprisingly, it even lasts in sub-zero temperatures. Lithium-ion electric cars often take more than an hour to reach 80% charge in cold weather. What's worse, if you force a fast charge in these situations, you risk causing internal damage to the battery. 
This is because the cold disrupts the movement of ions, causing them to accumulate on the surface of the anode instead of integrating into its interior. This buildup, known as lithium plating, can lead to short circuits, drastically reduced lifespan, and even fire hazards. In other words, winter turns what was supposed to be a solution into yet another problem. What about aluminum? Another story. The saline electrolyte in this new battery completely dissolves ions without buildup, metal plates, and stress to the system. The result is clean, stable charging that's five times more efficient than lithium batteries under the same conditions. Even with the thermometer reading 20 to recent tirings, the car charges as if it were under a spring sky. And for those who need to leave home quickly or face a long trip in the dead of winter, this reliability is simply invaluable. The user experience changes completely. There's no longer any need to precondition the battery before charging, a common procedure with lithium ion models to prevent damage. Just plug it in and go. While you're enjoying a coffee or reviewing your route, the car is almost ready to drive over 400 kilometers. And the interesting thing is that this also reduces driver stress. No one wants to be stuck at a station for 40 minutes when it's snowing or when they need to rush to pick up the kids from school. It's interesting to see how Tesla thought through every detail of this process. The idea isn't just to charge quickly, but also to charge safely. The battery's internal structure is designed to withstand sudden temperature changes during recharging, which prevents thermal shocks and further extends the system's lifespan. Speed comes with stability, a combination rare in the battery market. Anyone who's ever been frustrated by empty promises of fast charging knows how valuable this is. If fast charging is already good, imagine not even having to worry about overheating while it's happening. And that's where that new Tesla battery really takes off. A hot leap, so to speak. Because by 2026, the brand's electric vehicles will not only charge in record time, but will also shrug off scorching heat like a spring breeze. Aluminum ion batteries are designed to operate safely even in extremely high temperatures, something that, frankly, seemed impossible until recently. In lithium batteries, heat has always been a silent enemy. Above 120 to digging, the risk of failure begins to increase. Above that, the electrolyte evaporates, flammable gases accumulate, and a simple failure can turn into a newsworthy fire. Tesla solved this with a bold combination of materials. The anode is pure aluminum, which only begins to melt at over 660 degrees six. The cathode uses graphene, yes, that same graphene that's the star of nanotechnology, with a structure capable of withstanding up to 500 degrees C without deforming. This combination is the core of thermal safety, but the highlight lies in graphene itself. This material has incredible thermal conductivity, a thousand times greater than traditional alloys used in lithium batteries. This turns the battery's interior into a kind of heat highway. What does this mean in practice? Simple. The heat generated during use or recharging isn't concentrated in specific points. It dissipates quickly, avoiding the dreaded hot spots that corrode cells, melt insulation, and threaten the integrity of the entire system. Tesla went further, adopting a honeycomb-shaped internal design with hexagonal microchannels that allow passive ventilation and improved airflow between the modules. This structure reduces the electrode surface temperature by up to 20% compared to the flat designs used in conventional batteries. It's no exaggeration to say that this design allows the battery to breathe. And a battery that breathes well means it lasts longer, heats up less, and requires fewer technical interventions, which ultimately translates into savings and peace of mind for the driver. In internal testing, vehicles equipped with this new battery faced simulations in scorching deserts with outside temperatures reaching 50 degrees C and accumulated heat inside the hood reaching nearly 90 degrees C. The result? The battery maintained its performance. No signs of swelling, no loss of range, and most importantly, no safety threats. 
All this without the use of complex liquid cooling systems or noisy fans, just clever engineering applied where it really matters. An interesting detail is that, by eliminating the need for an active cooling system, Tesla also managed to reduce the overall weight of the assembly and increase energy efficiency. No pumps, no radiators, no extra circuits draining energy. This means that virtually all the power goes to what matters, keeping the car running. And at a time when every mile matters, this is a huge advantage. Furthermore, with fewer components, maintenance is simpler and the risk of failures is reduced. After facing extreme cold and scorching heat with almost cynical elegance, Tesla's new battery had one challenge left to overcome, water. And we're not talking about a puddle here and there. We're talking flash floods, acid rain, salt spray, streets submerged for hours. Environments that put even the most robust cars to the test. In 2026, with the launch of this new aluminum ion technology, Tesla promises that the fear of seeing your car drowning will be a thing of the past. The battery has been armored against the worst the weather can offer, and the solution, once again, starts with the materials. The battery's outer casing is made of an aerospace-grade aluminum alloy containing 10% titanium. This combination is no coincidence. It resists oxidation even when exposed for long periods to environments with extremely high pH levels, such as flooding in industrial areas or coastal regions with high salinity. Just to give you an idea, this alloy can withstand environments with a pH of 12 to 14, while acid rain hovers around 4 to 6 and seawater between 8 and 9. It's as if it were born to survive scenarios that would make any other battery panic. But Tesla didn't stop there. This metal alloy receives a layer called Hydro Shield, a polymer coating with graphene applied at extremely high temperatures, forming an ultra-fine mesh that repels water and humidity, as if it had an invisible shield. The most impressive thing? This material is self-healing. Small scratches or micro-cracks heal on their own in just a few minutes. This prevents the protection from being compromised over time by impacts, road debris, or even slow corrosion, a true high-tech armor. Inside, each battery cell is encased in a silicone casing just 0.1 millimeter emitum thick. It may seem small, but this detail is what prevents moisture from reaching any sensitive components. The silicone acts as a second layer of defense, sealing the entire interior and ensuring that, even if the exterior is damaged, the battery's integrity remains intact. It's a solution designed not only for emergencies, but for everyday use in regions where rain is not an exception, but rather a routine occurrence. Imagine the impact this would have on those living in cities with precarious infrastructure, where a 20-minute downpour can turn avenues into rivers. To this day, electric cars still carry the stigma that they can't get too wet. With this new battery, that fear disappears. Drivers can traverse flooded areas much more safely. And best of all, without needing to make adjustments or drive with a heavy heart, the idea is simple. If a car is built for the real world, then it needs to work in the real world. The curious thing is that, as futuristic as it may seem, this approach is extremely practical. It's not about placing the car on a pedestal of luxury or unattainable technology. Quite the opposite. 